I'm Winston Smith, and you're watching Reviews with Booze. Look at the perspiration on that one. Today I'm doing a band called Foy and their album War of Words. In the 90s, after Painkiller, Rob Halford left Judas Priest to pursue other interests. He's somebody who is very into and fascinated by the genre of heavy metal, and as time grew on, so did his passions and yearnings for what had been occurring in the metal scene around that time. So he felt like he wanted to pursue other things, even though in my opinion the Painkiller album was quenching that thirst. And uh, perhaps they should have just uh, continued and made another album and dabbled into things they might not have normally dabbled into, which they did later on, but we'll get to that. Fight is Arizona, USA-based group. And I think that's sweet, <laughs> because I'm from Arizona. And in my opinion, this album has a much better perspective on what was going on at that time than the Priest album. I believe that you could compare it to like Halford's release to the Priest release, which was Jugulator, with the lead singer Tim the Ripper Owens, which I think he did a great job with Iced Earth, depending on the project after that, you know. Some of those Zingbe songs are pretty sweet, but like his solo album, didn't quite care for. That's off the subject. This album seems to have a better grasp on what was going on at that time. Um, you may have to take this album on a song to song basis, though. Uh, the first two songs, into the Pit and Nailed to the Gun are heavy and in your face and like thrash almost and catchy at the same time and I really enjoy those. However, some of the later songs made aren't so hard hitting. There's a a soft ballad in there that's pretty sweet and it ends with Halford doing some of his epic wrap it ups as I like to call ending things. So that's cool. But like I said before you may have to take this album on a song-to-song -song basis. The songs that were around at that time, I mean, the songs, the fan reviews with booze. I'm gonna drink every time I say some shit that's fucked up. <laughs> um, the fans that were around at that time may have seen this evolution, and this seems, this album could seem extremely natural to them, and, uh, so at the time, maybe you love this album if you're from that era in the 90s. I, I was pretty young and certainly had never heard of this. Which you got to keep in mind, Rob Halford had gone from playing, you know, 30,000 people in some giant-ass stadium. Or even like a Rock and Rio where it's just like a ridiculous amount of crazy-ass motherfucking Brazilians in a fucking show where they're just screaming the guitar riffs. I can only imagine. I've seen it in a thousand videos. But anyways, um, to playing for 80 people inside of small clubs. In uh, But the passion is there, and so I think that's cool. It definitely has that 90s feel. There's some sludge. There's some, like, Alice in Chainsy or even Southern stuff. So I know that from reading liner notes and Priest albums that Halford likes to do albums with a lot of different emotions and stuff as he said but overall you know it's worth a listen um do I think it's better than Jugulator? I do like uh Cathedral Spires off that CD though but otherwise that was Fight by Rob Halford in the band Fight and the album War of Words <laughs> Scope it out, motherfuckers. Reviews.